I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. After the big announcement this morning, I wanted to take some time. This is why the video is going to come out a lot later compared to other channels. I wanted to take some time to think about the right things to say about the Noah Gregson incident because my opinion has slightly changed since it first came out on Saturday. Uh, but let's take a step back and get to where we are now. On Saturday morning, us race fans were brought to the attention of Noah Gregson liking a very, very sensitive post on Instagram. We have all seen it by now, but if you haven't, just type up Noah Gratz on Instagram, on Twitter, and you're easily going to find it. And he had to be dealt with. And later on that afternoon, Legacy Motorsports, his own team, decided to suspend him. In other words, tell him, don't show up for the time being. NASCAR then fired back by suspending him indefinitely. And I hate the word indefinitely because you can still race. You can still come back if you're suspended indefinitely. We all know what Kyle Larson did. He was suspended indefinitely. He came back and won a damn championship. Uh, Kurt Busch was suspended indefinitely many moons ago. He came back also, won a Daytona 500, and had a very successful career. And he still should be raced. Uh, the next-gen car was a very rushed car, and he had to retire due to injury. Uh, but, though... The word indefinitely does not mean what you think it is, and Noah Gregson still had a chance of racing in the year of 2023. But though, my opinion on the situation is that he is representing all of these different sponsors. Uh, for instance, he's representing Bass Pro Shops, and Bass Pro Shops is a big, big business in the United States, and uh, it is, you don't want to disrupt them because they've been a big loyal partner for you for many years. You're also representing your own team, Legacy Motorsports. So you got Maurice Gallagher, who owns GMS and all that stuff, and you do not want to disappoint him. He's a very wealthy man, and he's got a lot of companies he's invested in, so you do not want to link him to a bad scenario. Richard Petty, he's he's probably the one that's probably going to be the least affected here because he don't have many things invested, but... His, his likeness and image is going to be disrupted by this one like and post from no regrets. And then Jimmy Johnson, a new owner, very, very popular driver, and his image is now disrupted. But, though, for them to suspend him and for a whole year at Legacy Motorsports Club, I just didn't like that. I believe he had to be dealt with, but I would say... For him to be suspended for the rest of the regular season would have been a very, very stiff uh, action. Uh, I just believe what, like, my opinion, my opinion only, Noah Gregson was in the wrong. But we got to say, you know what, that's what he thinks. Okay, I don't agree with it, though. And that's how I feel about the situation. I don't think what he liked was right, but I don't think the punishment should be that severe. You're you're wanting to end a guy's career over liking a damn Instagram post? That's where we're going wrong. Everybody's getting soft these days. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I believe everybody's starting to get soft and to to quickly react to things. You gotta take some time and to think things through before you make a decision because the decision for Noah Gregson, that was a big one. And then Thursday morning rolls around where we are now he requested to be released. In other words, he wanted to quit, and Legacy Motorsports accepted his request, and he quit, and Legacy Motorsports is probably going to have an all-star car in the 42. Uh, Mike Rockenfeller in for the two road courses, Indianapolis and Watkins Glen. Expect him in for the Roval. Daytona, maybe Austin Hill or Josh Berry, someone good there. It's going to get very fun. I bet Shane Van Gisbergen gets it right in that at some point. It's going to be very fun. Uh, many stories to talk about through, through the next couple of months as the season goes on, uh, but it's going to be very fun. But everybody, though, remember to please like and subscribe and comment down below your opinions about Noah Gregson because I am very interested to see them. I'm sure they're going to be a lot different than mine, but they're also going to be one to listen to. But everybody have a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.